We're talking 10 to 12 million more gallons of raw sewage that will be flowing as part of this cross border pollution. This issue that we've seen going on for many years, and that's on top of the already 40 million gallons that are estimated to flow daily. Now, according to the International Water, uh, excuse me, International Boundary and Water Commission, this is happening because a pump plant on the Mexico side needs to be shut down for about two construction projects. Now, it's expected to be shut down for at least 10 days. That is the estimate right now, though, of course, anything can happen when it comes to construction projects and so forth. The IBWC says they're looking into ways to divert the increased flow in case it becomes unsustainable. But right now, they're looking at those 10 days at about 12 million gallons per day. Now, in other cross-border pollution news, State Senator Steve Padilla yesterday said that he wanted to hold companies accountable for cross-border pollution and their contribution to it. He says businesses actually set up in Tijuana to take advantage of their lack of environmental protections. He says that a new bill he's introducing would require those companies that do business in California to publicly disclose their wastewater discharge that they that can, can contaminate California waters, and they would either have to pay the state to clean up the contamination or go ahead and clean up themselves. So again, trying to hold some of these businesses accountable that he says uh, are contributing very greatly to the issue of cross-border pollution. Eric Canetta.